Man, welcome back to another video. It is your boy Mouse. We're finally getting started on the first set of door panels. Today I'm actually going to show you what products you need to use and how to prep your door up properly. Before you start making the mold of your door, uh, you can uh, lay your tape down to the door um, so you can do a very nice mold. But I'm going to show you what you need to do so your tape sticks to the door panel. So if you're actually a car audio bass head man, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. If you want to learn how to do uh, door panel builds, definitely subscribe to the channel. And if you like overall car audio content, man, this is definitely the place for you to be. I try to give you 100%, you know, how to do videos, um, how to build stuff, wire stuff up at the convenience at your own homes. To start off, we got our door panel that we are going to be working on today. We're just going to be prepping this door. I'm going to show you how to prep it up. Stages it's going to go in today's video is we are going to go ahead and wash the door panel with Dawn soap. The Dawn is the best stuff that you could use for this stuff because it gets that grease out and everything. You know, they clean them ducts when they get in the oil spills and stuff like that. So that's very good. Then after that, we're going to go ahead and clean it with some 91% alcohol, man. This is very good stuff. It gets all that extra grease off. And right after that, we are gonna be using our high-tech wipeout surface prep. This is what actually helps the tape stick to the door panel and not peel up while you're taping the door to get um, your shape of the mold and stuff like that. And we have your scrubbing pads, um, some shop towels, some paper towels, and a small little container with a little bit of water that we will be using to mix up soap. Now we will be making a mold of this on the, the next video after this one. We are gonna be putting three tens, um, two horn tweeters, and one bigger horn on each door. We're only gonna do two front doors. We're only gonna build them and wrap them in vinyl. Uh, the customer is actually gonna go ahead and install the speakers himself in the vehicle. Our job is just to you know do the door panels, make sure that they look good. So when he's out you know, at these little truck meets and the car shows, man, he's out there stunting. So real quick, we're just gonna make sure there's nothing inside the door panel. And let me show you real quick. If I were to actually just start, you know, laying tape down, um, the tape will probably not stick. There will probably be some uh, parts of the door that the tape would probably stick, but eventually it's just going to peel up because um, these doors have like the texture. I don't know if you guys can see it, but you know, inside those little small textures, um, pores, man, you know, greases and oils get into it. Um, you know, not saying that the guy is dirty or anything, but you know, that's just plastic. Look, you see, like it's dirty right there. And all the dirt from everything, opening the door wind and all that stuff, man, it gets in them door panels, man. So we're actually here to make sure that we do the best mold possible. And the way that we can get the best results is we got to make sure our preps are on point. So when we make our mold, man, that mold comes out perfect into the shape. First step, we're going to be using the Dawn dish soap. The Dawn, like I said, man, it removes the grease um, from any type of, you know, element that you're trying to clean, whether it's dishes or these door panels. Man, the Dawn, the actual brand, man, that thing is the truth. So make sure that you use the Dawn. It's only like $1.28 from Walmart. So let's go ahead and pour some soap inside there. Make sure. Then we actually have the scrubbing pads. So it's like a rougher surface. Um, and then like a sponge surface on the other side. Uh, we're going to be using the sponge side because if we were to use this side where it's more like a scrub pad, like scuff, it would scratch the door panel and that's not what we want. We want just to clean it. Um, and this, you know, sponge will help us get into those pores very good. So let's go ahead and make this soapy. We're going to pretty much just scrub the whole, basically the whole door panel. Because we still got to do taping above where our desired mold is going to be at so the tape can stick. But we just want to make sure that the whole door panel is actually clean. Because you never know where we have to get into. Make sure you, you clean it good. I can feel the dirt, you know what I'm saying? I can feel it. We got a lot of soap, so don't be scared to use it, man. Should get one of our shop towels, this guy right here, and let's wipe it down. After we get done wiping it from here, we'll just go back, uh, rinse it off with water, and come back and give it another quick wipe down. And then we're gonna let the door sit at least for like five minutes, let it dry out. The sun hasn't been out like that in days because it's been a little bit chilly. So there's no sun in our factory today. But you know, this is just soap and water so it'll dry out so fast. All right, so we actually rinsed off the towel with some water. So now let's just go ahead and give it another quick wipe down. This actually just secures taking off that soap. Now let's get some clean paper towels and just wipe the door down real quick. 
we could probably try to stick the tape on here and see what it does but more than likely it's gonna stick a few moments later okay so it's actually been a few minutes and let's just test out a piece of tape on there after just the dawn soap prep not bad not bad it, it actually secure but you see like like right here you can see it's slowly starting to peel up you know what i'm saying it didn't stick like you see right there see like these are the areas right here like you see how it's up is not sitting down flat so like little by little that would slowly peel up you see okay so not bad not bad but now let's clean it with the alcohol now one thing i will tell you about the alcohol when they're older door panels you got to be a little bit careful if the door panels are rather older, this 91% will actually make the door panel fade away from its color. So, you know, you can drop down, I think they make like a 70% or something like that. Uh, but the 91, um, you just got to be very light when it don't, you know, overdo it. Look like that's right there, good enough uh, alcohol on it. You know, when you overdo it, you're going to take some of the color off. This is just to dry it off a little bit. Now for our last stage of prepping, we're going to go use the high-tech uh, wipeout surface prep. This is what actually helps the tape stick to the door a little bit better. The tape will probably stick to the door right now because it actually looks a little bit more drier, but this is what's actually going to seal the deal. Uh, you can kick, pick this up at your local paint shops that sell paint supplies. I think this was like probably like $14.95. It actually helps you if you're doing like LEDs or anything. Uh, very good stuff. You don't need that much to actually get it to work. So this right here will probably do for half of the door and we'll just use a little bit more take this area up and then after this just let it dry for like 10 minutes and then I think we should be ready to put tape and see how that sticks guys now let's use clean release tape and see how it does. The door should be dry. Oh yeah, look. that tape's on there, guys. Love it. Our prepping was pretty much dead on point and we have nothing that's stopping us. So that's the blue tape. Let's go ahead and use the green tape and see how that sticks. Oh yeah, look at that, bam. I don't see no type of peel action going on. Contour sticks, bam, look at it. Looks good. And listen, this tape, whether it's the blue or the green one, man, it's sticking really good because the prep was on point. Same thing when like you paint cars. If you don't want the paint to like bubble up or peel off, it's all on your prep if you want a good, you know, finish. Same thing if we want a good finish on our mold, our prep has to be on point. Even if we have to buy a few extra materials or go the extra mile and, you know, take a few steps on prepping it, you know, so we don't waste time uh, wondering why the tape's not uh, taping down, um, why it's not sticking, and, you know, we're wasting time, you know, stopping what we're doing to clean it, to go buy materials. Um, you know, you just seen it right now. We prepped it pretty good, and the tape sticks either or that we use. Me personally, after doing all these door panels, I think on the actual, on my channel, we've probably built like three or four, maybe five sets of door panels. And, you know, from each time doing the door panels, I, you know, have learned what steps to take off of learning from the first set of door panels to the door panels that we're doing up now. I'd rather waste at least a week and a half and make sure that I have all the materials that I need um, and take all the steps that I need to take to secure, you know, the process of doing the door panels that I don't waste no time because time is money, you know what I'm saying? And time backs you up. You see what I'm trying to say? Like, imagine me working, um, getting everything and me starting to want to make the molds today and I go to start taping up these door panels uh, to make the mold and then the tape's not sticking. And then, you know, I just get some soap or something and start cleaning it. And then the, the, it sticks by halfway of making my mold. The tape's peeling up and resin's like sneaking through and getting on the actual door panel. Um, you know, we have to stop what we're doing, clean up, and actually start all over again. Versus 
you know, I've learned all the steps that I need to take and all the materials that I need to have on deck to make sure that doesn't happen and to make sure that, you know, we build these door panels, uh, whether we're in the mold making stage, the taping stage, laying the ring stage, fiberglassing, that we have everything that it doesn't stop us from, you know, having forward progress. You see what I'm saying? I Like I said, I like to take my time and make sure I have everything so once we actually start building the door panels, there's no stopping. Drop down in the comments because I would like feedback on this method or if you guys have an easier method on, you know, getting molds done or getting the tape to stick, I would be, you know, I would love to hear that, you know, so then maybe I can add it to my knowledge and then, you know, we can have an all together answer. You see what I'm saying? Because we're here at the Car Auto car audio community we're here to help each other out and make sure all these bills get done pretty badass that being said man i hope today's video was good uh information for you guys like i said drop down in the comments if you have some better input man hit that like button man and definitely subscribe to the channel if you're a car audio base head or just live car audio way car audio all the way around man because you know we got that heat i well at least i think so but that's it for today hope you guys enjoyed today's video i will catch you on the next one peace